Greetings, Sagittarius and Gemini. Thank you for coming to support me as I support you along the many evolutionary journeys within your emotions, your mental, your physical, and spiritual for your growth, development, and your healing. Excuse me. My children are making a little noise getting under my skin. However, I am Mama Soul Lily. For those of you that do not know, I come with my faults, flaws, hiccups, and all imperfections and interruptions too. Also, all that jazz, you know what to do if you so desire. All the information you need will be down in the description box for any personal consultations with or without cards, my cash app, as well as my disclaimer. <clears throat> this Sagittarius and Gemini is still general. However, you can check out other placements if you so desire. Your residence may be there, okay, within your natal science, which is your birth chart. So we are going to see what your highest guide and your higher self and your ancestors of your greatest good need you to be aware of, may need more of, however it comes out, how it comes out. But this is something that what I do know is this is something that you're either war working through currently or you're coming into this energy, okay? Very few are already walking out of the energy. This is my um, Oracle deck that I created with some Supreme Mathematics and Alphabet. So we're gonna get the frequency as well as some other things that is inside of this. Um, so we're gonna get the frequency, energy field of it. And I'm going to use my Cosmic Cat as well. And then we're gonna go from there. Supreme Creative Source, Ancient of the Ancient Ancestors in the Higher Realms of Our Greatest Good. Leo and Aquarius. Confident, generous, protective, optimistic. Aquarius, the lower polarity, evasive, moody, distant, chaotic, rebellious. Okay. Are you coming across a Leo in Aquarius? Or is your Leo Aquarius within your natal science more active in your life right now? I noticed I didn't do my camera. That's why I can't see my desk. Faults, flaws, what? Hiccups and all, okay? At the bottom of the deck, Mm, emotions and the moon this is just wavering up and down that is that chaotic energy so the air within the Aries here the water that the chal chalice is holding of the water bearer is very emotional, very chaotic within its emotions right now, okay? You may need a little fire to actually get you into a more optimistic mood or way through whatever this is that you're working through or going through at this time. You may also want to look at your um, Scorpio Taurus energy as well because it was speaking about air produces fire and right now your moody chaotic energy is producing some type of fire that was in that message however this is chaos this is just spin it all the way around just constantly spin it there's some balance within the mood or balance within the emotions Let's see what the Cosmic Cats wants, would like to bring forward for you. I feel like that Leo is embracing the inner child instead of looking, looking at the things within the world around you that's so expansive within the energy of Aquarius being the humanitarian, but being more focused on the individual within the inner child within, okay? 
the energy of Leo. The fifth house is the house of children as well. Let's see what else. Sagittarius and Gemini. What else do we have for Sagittarius and Gemini at this moment? Supreme Creative Source. Look at ourselves, look at the collective individuals within Sagittarius and Gemini. Why can't get a hold on me? Instigator. Gotta start something. That's what it says. Instigator. Gotta start something. That's that chaos. That's that nitpicky chaos. That's that chaos. Just cause and start in trouble. Emotions are starting trouble, or others around you are starting trouble. Whoa, don't fall behind the test. Thank you. Mm, this feels has a little bit of a bully, bully energy. A little bit of a bully en energy here. And I'm hearing this, got to be starting something, got to be starting something. Yeah, yeah, tonight to get over. Yeah, uh, get up, get on down. You're stuck in the middle. Your emotions are stuck in the middle. Something's not being expressed freely. There's something that's keeping your heart from being able to be tolerant or tolerable in the midst of emotional upgrages. There's something within that needs to connect and the emotions need to connect into the wisdom of your intuition and not into the emotions of your physical nature of who self is. <clears throat> All right, Sagittarius, Gemini. What is this instigating energy? What's going on with these emotions? What is going on? We have the Eight of Wands and the Hierophant. Oh, you're dealing, some of you right now, what you're going through, working through is some past life communication, some old traditional relationships, constructs. <coughs> um, the Eight of Wands and the Hierophant. This is having some struggles with belief systems. Yeah. Things moving fast, thinking fast, thinking fast on your feet, and that sometimes creates a little bit a little bit of chaos within your emotions. And when that chaos starts to formulate, the only way you know how to respond is to be a nag or to be an instigator or to be a picker or a prior. And what that does is that then uh, builds your emotions up on the inside because there's something unsettled or something that you're, um, how can I say, you're not able to think of the solution clearly. You're not able to come up with a solution clearly. It's like you're not able to think under pressure, emotional pressure to clear, mental, emotional pressure here. What else do we have? This is sometimes feeling split between traditional and spiritual. The emperor. What else comes with this? Oh, snap. Whoa. The strength. And the wheel of fortune is at the bottom, but they told me, don't, don't look, don't look. The emperor and the strength. This feels like you're gonna to have to be strong within your leadership power of who you are. Find your gentle side. Come into a level of alignment. Be the mature or the bigger person here. Be loyal and dedicated still to self. 
consider those of old, but look at how you can integrate the things of the old traditions and to make them into something that is designed just for you. There's also a level of patience that is being asked of you. While you're going through or come, when you come into this energy, there's a level of patience that is being asked of you, okay? And in the midst of the patience, you will then be able to take the obstacle or the low polarity of thought or within the mind into something that is more optimistic instead of something that is so pessimistic, okay? That will then, or even arrogant or within, yeah, arrogance. Because Leo and Leo here with strength can be some arrogance or some selfishness that the energy of your emotions is projecting outward. Can also be re projecting it inward to the self as well. Let's shuffle this again and get something else here. Instigator. We don't know it all. We don't know it all, but I feel like the instigating is because there's a part of you that's still accustomed to some old routines or old habits. It's almost like an emotional high. What's going on with my deck? It's almost like an emotional high, that kick that you get out of it. But there's something that you have to come to better tame within your emotions or within the cycles of your flow. So you can have less um, distance within, I mean, yeah, more distance within the midst of chaos, confusion, okay? What do we have here? Well, it landed in my lap, which usually means it's an emotional moment. The magician, what comes with this magician? Emotional, oh, when you come to alchemize and bring balance into yourself, when you come to bring the strength and be your own leader and not allow the things of old to affect your mind and you gain better control over your emotions and you're not so up and down bipolary, you know, you'll find yourself starting, not starting a lot of trouble out there getting yourself into situations that you feel sorry for later on within life, you know, feel sorry for later on somewhere within life, whether it's a day from now, a year from now, a month from now, two years from now, anywho, but you have the musician and the two of pentacles. So this really feels like that you're going to be able to alchemize. You're going to be able to Find the strength within the connection of your physical reality and your spiritual reality. This is going to also lead you to where you're going to be able to manifest more things. You're going to see how you manifest more things when you trust within your intuition, within yourself, within the energy of your moon, okay? Within the moon gnosis. I do desire that I'm clear. Let's look at the bottom of this deck, the three of cups. This will also bring in new groups, new friends, new celebration um, that will bring out an artistic side within you that you will be more confident in how you approach um, life or situations to where then you won't be this type of energy or you will not allow this type of energy to infiltrate or be within your space, okay? Remember, energy can shift change or alter let's see what do we have i feel like there's something else i want to see what type let's do this first let's see what type of emotions you're dealing with or what's creating the emotions they say okay what's creating let's see what could be creating some of these emotions I need to wet my whistle. 
keep it short, keep it sweet, divine. What's creating some of these difficult emotions that creates or causes you to be a bothersome to others? You know, just constantly got to be nitpicking, constantly got to be going and saying something to somebody when you really, with especially with that eight of wands being here, when you don't really have to be doing that. It's like, what are you really trying to gain? What are you trying to gain from nitpicking or bothering people? You know, or call yourself taking something from some wet, someone or washing someone of their face. Because you didn't get what you wanted, Sagittarius, Gemini. So you want to wash your face. Oh, well, what about meow, me? Because that fit within that message that I just did with the vanity. There's some balance. There's some learning about sharing, wholehearted sharing. Some of us share, but we do not share from the intimate parts, the pure parts, the true parts of us we 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 place um what is it called labels or we uh manipulation you know uh what is it called hidden agendas what do we need to see what's creating these emotions what's going on with these emotions divine one fortress okay some of you it's your home okay it's your house your fortress can also be your workplace okay there's aquarius again but this feels like also with the one being present the emotions is about the body your temple your tabernacle what are you not doing or establishing within yourself okay how are you not fortifying you the one and aquarius one is the identity of self. How are you building yourself up? Are you doing what it takes to get your emotions in check? Or are you allowing yourself to drift and be within or on the sand? Then we have kerosene. Ooh! Kerosene and the fire. All I saw was Leo. All I saw was an explosion. The emotional explosions. This seems like these emotional explosions and this instigator, it just seems like it's just some type of argument or disagreement that is constantly ever going. It is like always stimulated. It's like no matter how you try to simmer or lower the temperature, it just somehow the temperature just ends up going back up. Things just really get out of hand. There's a very determined energy or spirit as well. I don't know if this is you because we have the emperor and then we have the, the relation to others, which is the opposite axis of Aries, which is the first house and Aries being the Libra. I mean, oh, the first house. Something, these emotions, whatever you're dealing with, this keeps igniting the fire. This is very violent, volatile. This is very aggressive. This almost have a sense of domestic abuse within this energy. And with the higher font being present, this domestic abuse or whatever abuse can be something that has been within the generations of my collective Sagittarius and Gemini's. This um, can also be other forms of abuse as well. 
but it is not for me to decipher. We can go through that within a personal. However, we have Sapphire. I feel like this is clarity that will come. It's one and the two, which is the first house in Gemini. So this is coming to identify the communications and what you desire within your life and you desire to eradicate outwards to others without so much projection, okay, or feeling lost within hope. This feels like coming to be more wise within the self, being more focused, being more in tune to the spiritual insight, being more within your fortitude. <clears throat> And not allowing, not allowing what other people do to you move or affect you or cause your emotions, you know, to get in a rut. Sapphire, throat chakra as well. This still stands within divinity. Concluding message, what? Do the ancestors need you to embody more of? What do you need to embody more of at this time to assist you through this energy? I heard you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Stop being so explosive. And also for others, stop being so jealous and envious. I'm just speaking what I'm hearing. Because being jealous and envious can cause you to be a shit starter, a nag or an instigator. Okay? And it keeps your emotions in a whack. Because the divine doesn't like it. This is not the deck. This is not the deck. Let's try one last time. Supreme Creative Source for Sagittarius and Gemini. What is the concluding message for them at this time? I heard rune. Took long enough. A rune, a sacred symbol. They want you to walk with a sacred symbol. Do your research on this symbol. See how you can implement it and apply it within your life. Okay? Make you a talisman. Anything, a symbol, draw it, put it somewhere where you can see it. Okay? As a reminder. Actual give guides what to do, your ancestors what to do with it. How do they want you to implement it or place it within your environment? All right, what is the sacred room? Okay, wow. Hmm. Looks like you have a couple. <laughs> so let's resonate to what goes to your soul. We're gonna turn this way. The guides. Looks like an hourglass on its side. And it says, breakthrough, awakening, awareness, daylight clarity, as opposed to nighttime, uncertainty, a time to plan or embark upon an enterprise. Take it how it resonates. The next one is lagoons. I don't speak room. <laughs> flow water sea a fertility source the healing power of renewal emotions the healing power of renewal for your emotions and getting the cycles of your moon more in control for the betterment of self and to others and not allowing the self to be so moody or so aggressive or abrasive. 
and life energy and organic growth imagination and psychic matters okay let's really look at the mind and the heart these emotions okay then we have nadis i don't know i don't speak room okay it says delays restriction resistance leading to strength Ooh. Resistance leading to leading the leader to strength. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Innovation. Need fire. Self reliance. Need fire. Didn't I say at the beginning about the air produces fire? So you need some fire. Self reliance. The emperor relies on no one, okay? The emperor does not have to mess with the peasants or the people, however you want to call it, okay? The emperor can sit on its throne and rule within all equality, fairness, and justice without shame or guilt or anything in between. Okay, distress, confusion, conflict, and the power of will to overcome them. Yes, you have to have the will to overcome these emotions that is confusing, chaotic, moody, distressful, uncomfortable, and very conflicting. Okay? I'm going to show it again if I didn't show it. And... Theresa, I don't know, Theresa, do your research. There's the spelling and there's the symbol. It says reactive force. Mm. It's already been a lot of reactive force with the emotions. Whether you're doing the reactive force of emotions or you're allowing others to project that into your energy field. Directive force of destruction and defense yo see i'm telling you family y'all been having a lot of destructive energy going on especially with this instigator the leo aquarius and these emotions here we have the daggone emperor and the strength the heart font this is traditional things that have been going on within your life and it says um conflict vital exorcism yeah, it's important to exercise these type of emotions up out of your life. It is time for you to find the catalyst that works best for you, okay, so that you can move towards the necessary change within your life so that you do not have to continue to deal with these same type of people that triggers these same type of results within your emotions. This energy here is also needing to learn how to set better boundaries or healthier boundaries okay with people as well as yourself if you have to find your space to put you in time out then that's what you do okay it works and if you have made it this far and you find anything useful you know what to do like subscribe share comment hit that bell notification so you know when i go live upload or do a premiere and until next time my beautiful souls Sagittarius and Gemini's, let's pull the fire that's creating this emotional rage within bitterness and strife. And until then, my soul, I share.